Good morning, Israel. Good morning, believers. So, Heavenly Father, bless my family, your children. Give us understanding, wisdom, knowledge. Let us <coughs> understand the book for what it says and not throw our own vain bullshit on top of it. Right, Lord? We want to know the truth, not lies. We don't want to. We don't want to believe in nonsense. We want to believe in you and the truth that you are, the love that you are. We want to know how to walk correctly because we know that gate is narrow and the way is difficult. So we strive and we're hot for you and we love you and we follow you and we are devoted and dedicated and disciplined. And Yeah, amen. So we're in the book of Kings, 1 Kings, and I'm trying to explain some things about Israel and Gentile believers. Solomon boned the nation. Solomon boned the nation. Solomon boned the daughters of Pharaoh, the daughters of the Moabites, the Ammonites, the Edomites, the Zidonians, the Hittites, and all the other nations concerning which that God said do not go on to them and don't have them come on to you because they will turn your heart towards other gods and that's what it says but what did Solomon do he did it anyway <laughs> hi she won't look <laughs> Too old for me anyway. Um, so God was mad. God was mad at Solomon. So uh, we were talking about how um, King David, uh, Matthias from 70 A M B Y A O D channel. 70. Go check him out. If you like me, you'll like him. He's actually, I think he's easier to listen to than me. He's, he has his mind set on what he's going to say. I just kind of study. And so I'm, we, we go wherever the Lord leads. He kind of has an agenda and it's easy to listen to because he pushes that agenda and you're like, uh-huh, uh-huh. 70 M-B-Y-A-O-D. King Matthias. I called Brother Matt. It's not even his real name. His name's Michael. But any, anyway, he says that the Gentiles are the the ten lost tribes, the northern kingdom. And so I've been busting his seam of his nuts because he's wrong. Um, everyone that's not of the southern kingdom the Lord divorced the ten tribes that left Jerusalem when you leave the reason those fuckers aren't waking up the reason you don't see any of the other ten tribes waking up very few of them the reason you don't see those any of those anyone else waking up is because they're mixed in with the Gentiles now. The Lord divorced them. So we were talking about in 1 Kings where after Solomon boned all these nations, he became... He became pretty wicked. All these wives that did all these strange rituals and worshiped Molech, worshiped Shamash, worshiped 
What else? Probably a few other of these pagan gods of these foreign wives that he had sex with that he made his wives because he loved them. God's anger. Therefore the Lord said unto Solomon, For as much as this is done to thee, and thou hast not kept my covenant and my statutes, which I have commanded thee, I will surely rend the kingdom from you, and will give it to thy servant. <laughs> Who's his servant? That's us. He's given us the kingdom. The Lord's like, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it to someone else under you. But it's going to, we could probably look into that. I'm not sure about that, who the servant is, but it's, he's, anyway, let me continue. Notwithstanding, so what's he going to do? He didn't keep my covenants and statutes. That's the law. He's like, I laid down the law. You guys understanding this? This is where, this is where Jesus broke the law. I like it. People are angry, man. The people are angry. I try not to be too angry. Even when I'm angry, I try not to be too angry. I want to be angry about something. I don't want to just have that low level pissiness all the time. Um, anyway, back to what I was saying. He broke the laws of Moses. He broke the laws of Yahweh. He broke anyone who's a law keeper. This is where you can wake the fuck up and, and break the curse of works and the law. You can't do this. You can't do that. You, can't, eh, 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 you better repent. Eh, eh, eh. Fuck that. Love will cover all your sins. Love will cover all your sins. Love has the capacity to cover all your sins. If you love, you're, you're walking in lo the Lord's perfect will. So love as best you can. That's how you get in. By loving, that's how you get in the kingdom. That's how you become a pillar. That's how you get more understanding. Love, 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 love. How many times do I have to say it? Love, 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 love. Love, 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 love. Notwithstanding, in thy days I will not do it for David thy father's sake, but I will rend it out of the hand of thy son. So, who was it? Rehoboam? We'll get into that. I'm not sure. Rehoboam and Jeroboam. He split the kingdom into two. This is where he split the kingdom into two. There's going to be some fuckers that are going to run away from Bethlehem. They're going to run away from the temple. They're going to run. They're going to get carried off to the Assyrians because they they left home. They're going to get carried off by the other nations. They're going to get carried off into captivity because they left home. I've been saying this ever since the Lord told me I was Benjamin. What is it about Benjamin and Judah? They stayed home. I've been saying this for 25 years. The reason he loves me is because I stayed home. And with the first chance I got, I went home. After I was carried away into Babylon by Zebuchadnezzar, Zerubbabel and Ezra and... Nehemiah said, let's go home. And we said, let's go home. And we went home. We love, we love home. We love Bethlehem. We love our family. We love our God. We love Jesus. We love Solomon. We love, love, love Bethlehem, Ephrata. We love, 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 love it. Get it? That's an Israelite. That's a, that's a, 
That's a true Israelite. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Come on, man. Howbeit, I will not rend away all the kingdom, but will give one tribe to thy son for David my servant's sake and for Jerusalem's sake, which I have chosen. Which tribe is that? Is it Judah? It's Benjamin. How do we know it was Benjamin? How do we know? How do we know that the one tribe that he gave to David was Benjamin? How do we know? Because Saul was chosen, people. Uh, do I have to go there? I can find it for you. Where is it? Samuel, David's Aaron, Saul does this. Man, I'm not having a hard, I'm not having an easy time finding this because um, I'm, I'm wound up. Um, they choose Saul by lot. The Lord chose Saul. <clears throat> Let me get it. Saul made king. <clears throat> Who, <coughs> who did, <coughs> sorry, who did the Lord choose? Benjamin, how do we know? Because it says right here. <coughs> and when Samuel, <coughs> sorry. And when Samuel had caused all the tribes of Israel to come near, the tribe of Benjamin was taken. And when he had caused the tribe of Benjamin to come near by their families, the family of Mari, Matri was taken, and Saul the son of Kish was taken. And when they sought him, he couldn't be found. Saul chosen by Lot. Who chose Sam, who chose who chose who chose Saul? Who chose Benjamin? Yahweh. So when it says, "And I will give one tribe to thy son for David, my servant's sake, for Jerusalem's sake, which I have chosen," why is my tribe? So ignored. I don't know. My opinion. People are stubborn. People are reckless. People are the Lord did something to people's minds. I don't know what he did. I don't know why he did it. Made people so lost. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that be one of the biggest questions? Which tribe did Yahweh give to the house of David? For Jerusalem's sake. Benjamin, I tell you guys that all the time. What does Jerusalem mean? For Jerusalem's sake. <clears throat> I stand by this shit. I stand for Jerusalem. I'm an Israelite. I'm a Benjamite of Judah. Yoo-hoo! Come on, man. Don't listen to me, though. Nah. Go watch some rapture videos. Fuck. I'm about done. I'm tired. 
I'm tired of saying this over and over again and nothing happens. I get a dribble of people coming in. A dribble. I appreciate everyone who's here though. I appreciate you guys. If I didn't have if I didn't have some people listening, I wouldn't I mean, all it takes is 10 or 20 of you to get me excited to do it. But it's um I don't know. It's not easy. So anyway, let me get over here real quick so you can understand what's going on with these 10 tribes. <clears throat> um, and he gathered men unto him. This is still Kings 11. And God stirred up another adversary, Rezan, the son of Elida, which fled from his lord Hadadezer, king of Zobah. And he gathered men unto him and became captain over a band which David slew them of Zobah and they went to Damascus and dwelt there and reigned in Damascus and he was an adversary to Israel all the days of Solomon besides the mischief that Hadad did and he abhorred Israel and reigned over Syria these are these are some motherfuckers <clears throat> they couldn't just get in line and Jeroboam the son of Naphat and Ephrathite of Zareda Ephrathite there's that word again that's my family, Jeroboam, an Ephrathite, Solomon's servant, whose mother's name was Zeruah. So servant in this case is, he's going to give it over to one of your sons. So we're all sons of, <coughs> we're all sons of Jesus. We're family. We're sons and daughters and brothers and sisters. We're family of Eph. Ephrata, Bethlehem Ephrata, do you understand? And he lifted up his hand against the king. This is, this is family strife. This is Benjamite against Judite. This is Ephrathite against Bethlehemite. This is, this is inner family squabbles. This is the, Jeroboam's the one that brought, took the ten tribes. He's the one that was wicked. <clears throat> so when I say I'm I'm I understand wickedness. When you're of Benjamin and you're of Bethlehem and you're of Ephrata, you're just as bad as Solomon and you're just as good as Jesus. I'm both. I fight from both hands. Benjamin could shoot arrows from either side and hit within a hair's breadth. I can I can fuck you up from the left hand, I can fuck you up from the right hand. I don't need to play fair. Because I play for the winning team. Win. I win. I'm a wiener. And this, this was the cause that lifted up his hand against the king. Solomon built Milo and repaired the breaches of the city of David, his father. And the man Jeroboam was a mighty man of valor, and Solomon, seeing the young man, that he was industrious, he made him ruler over all the charge of the house of Joseph. That's my brother. Benjamin and Joseph were brothers from Rachel and Jacob. We were the only two that were of Rachel. Joseph represents the northern kingdom. I represent the southern kingdom. These are the two sticks, Benjamin and Joseph. Oh, and it came to pass at that time that Jeroboam went out of Jerusalem that the prophet Ahijah, the, Shilon, the Shilonite, found him in the way and he had clad himself with a new garment, and they too were alone in the field. And Ahijah caught the new garment that was on him and rent it in 12 pieces. One piece for each tribe, right? And he said to Jeroboam, Take 10 pieces, for thus said the Lord God of Israel, Behold, I will rend the kingdom out of the hand of Solomon and will give 10 tribes to you. <sighs> All of the ten tribes besides Judah and Benjamin. I am Judah Benjamin.
Are you still out there, Jay Hall? Are you listening yet, Jay Hall? But he shall have one tribe for my servant David's sake. That's why I told you, Jay Hall. How many tribes? How many tribes does Judah need? How many tribes does Judah need? How many tribes does Judah need? Uh, Benjamites? Who's the Benjamites? House of Saul? That's right, motherfuckers. You hear anyone talking bad about the House of Saul? Run. These black Hebrew niggerites, these motherfuckers, they talk bad about my people, man. They're going to get fucked up how many tribes did David need but he shall have one tribe for my servant David's sake and for Jerusalem's sake the city which I have chosen out of all the tribes of Israel <laughs> 